What do I do with Venn in this? You guys want to watch uh, Mage v Mage? <clears throat> I think this was... Uh, this was... The this was on the final day, I'm pretty sure. Me and Ben had done so many duels in practice. And you see we're only limited to three water. It's because um, our duels, we had two duels before this that timed out. We faked my Frost Reflector. It's kind of owning me in this duel, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I locked him on Frost here, so he can't um, Ice Block the Sheep. He really wants to Ice Block the Sheep and stop my bandage. So let's do it late. A high value kick. I resisted his kick. And I got a Frostbite. I got kind of lucky here. He resisted a Frostbite. I didn't get a crit on the Frostbite. Missed my nade. Well, that mid punch is kind of late. Is that going to be enough? Okay, that was... I feel like Ven was winning that, dude. I just got a lucky crit at the end. His med pouch should have saved him there. All right, so I won duel number one. It was it was a best of three. And I think he was... It was number one and number two mages. It was like a knockout stage. Tips spotted. Yeah, Tips was in the tournament. He was doing the commentary. The Tips commentary was so funny, man. <laughs> Ben is kind of owning me in this one. I'm not going to lie, dude. I feel like he was ahead in the first one, too. But typically, there's like one mage trying to survive the all-in and one mage trying to uh, to get the all-in. In mage v mage. So my win condition is more about uh, mana. But I have to use one of my three bandages here. So you have to be really careful when you use them. He resists my kick. I think he faked it though. This is the easiest block of my life. Oh my god, I'm greedy. That's greedy as fuck. I'm actually gonna live. I blink the scone. I fire what is nade. I used uh did I use Whipper Root Tuber? Is they were allowed? I think he's scolded here. Are you sure I see him here? Oh, if I see him, I actually live. All right, so it's 1-1. One, one. That was pretty close, though. We wanted to barrier and everything at the same time, so it's like 100% fair, you know? That's why we did a countdown there. So I'm already trying to pre-nade when I'm kicked on the blanket, so I don't get... Uh, Don't get casted on. He blocks, it's up my bandage. Oh, that's a sick nade. He stopped my uh, my poly. I resisted, and I resisted his Nova too. That was pretty lucky. So he cold snapped here, so he's gonna... This is his all in. If I live this, I, I win. Oh, that was pretty close. I, I need to live until the next cheap DR. Oh, I was too slow on the reflector. I'm playing on US ping though. So here I'm trying to outrange his missiles. Because you can stop the last tick if you outrange it. So I actually take less damage because of this. And I have to blink back into the dual range. And he's kicked on frost here. And I had a fire ward there. If I didn't have a fire ward there, I would have died on that fire blast right there. But now he has no cooldowns. I was 2% HP there. And there was like 3 seconds left on my fire ward. It really doesn't get much closer than that. You don't want a um, frost ward there instead of fire ward because the frost ward is gonna get absorbed after the barrier. So my barrier is gonna take the damage anyway. So it's better to have fire ward so you can shield both elements. I'm fishing for a poly. And now I get my second bandage. So now I've lived like all of his cooldowns. He's behind on mana. It's all about stopping the evocate now. 
That's like, he, he's just trying to get his evocate off, and I'm trying to stop his evocates from going off. I think I missed my, uh, my kick there. Uh, I'm trying to give him push back here. Gets his ev off. I kind of had to use my CS though, because he's just going to blanket cheat me and get it anyway. There's his food. I think the CS and I resisted it after. I resisted his blanket after I picked him. So here I can use my second food and water if I want to. And here I'm actually in a pretty good spot. So I have this opener against mage, in Mage Revenge that I like to do, which is pretty disgusting. Um, with the Talisman and Fireball. Because Fireball scales better when you have Talisman up. So we Fire Watch uh, on my Nade. He blinks away from me, he wants to CS me, he gets it. So I'm trying to outrange so he can't poly me. And there I swap my offhand to Skull, because I know that he doesn't have kill pressure on me, and I do. And I have another bandage. He can't stop my bandage, he can't stop my evocate, so... All I need to do here is just get a sheep. Um, in, in just evocate, sheep, bandage, and then just send him. I think I'm trying to break his barrier before I land the sheep, so I can use it for the reset. But he has kick. So I kind of want him to use that as well. Because like I'm not scared of dying here. At any point, I will just sheep him and I'll uh, get a full reset. So I have like a lay on hands. So I'm probably going to bandage and then re-sheep and then have a okay. kit. That's what I should do anyway. And the first war doesn't matter. And that barrier is weak because I did damage to it earlier. I'm going to min-max it here with a, with a tick as well. I'm going to re-sheep. And there's the Evo. Yeah, he's dead here. Because I left this all in and now it's my all in. Oh, it heartbeat. Oh, we got the double sheep. That, I actually blocked that. That's pretty ballsy. That barrier is weak. I'm going to Nova CS him. Cone. Nade before he nades me. Okay, he got it as well. I resisted his kick. But honestly, even if I get that kick, it's fine. Because um, it's on fire and I have scroll up. And I have cold snap as well. I break his sheep with the skull. He has no DR. He blinks my cone. He fired. No, he didn't get fired. Yeah, this, this was really good. So he finished, I think, fifth. Because this was the knockout stage. But he beat me in the tournament before this one. Like, we always split duels. I got kind of lucky in the first one. I feel like he played better in the first one. Okay, that was my last duel.